Gemini, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message for the sign of Gemini, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind we all do have a third house as part of our birth chart. Time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates here. Leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless family so whenever you stumble across this message there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation to help empower you to help you align to your highest timeline tapping into your energy today gemini i use this wild mystic oracle deck i used this um illuminated earth oracle deck and i used this um sacred power oracle deck as well to help me catch a vibe and you know some really interesting energy coming through you know we've been saying in in the readings for the past couple of months i feel like that we've been sort of in this in between time we've been between worlds um and it looks like there is Gemini, it feels like you're getting back home to yourself. It feels like you are on the way back home to yourself. I'm seeing a lot of past energies coming up right now. We have memory in both decks here, the illuminated earth and the sacred power. We have this illusion and this truth card. We have the phoenix right we have this transformation coming through i see you aligning with your path with your path of destiny with your dreams here some of you may even be getting signs or having dreams that are bringing messages through to you i'm seeing you ending out a major soul cycle here gemini and basically like being reborn but it feels like Again, there's this feeling that the divine, that the transits, the universe is helping you get back home to yourself. We have this determination and this believe card. And so what I was getting with all of this memory energy coming through is some of my Gemini's could be having the past come up. And it's like we're thinking about it almost like nostalgic where it's like, man, those were the good old days, right? And I, I was literally just talking about that this morning. Like, and so I feel like that has to do with your message as well. I'm like, a lot of times when we look at the past, we're not really looking at it clearly. We're just kind of like, we, we remember things sometimes differently than what they really were. I don't know why I was thinking about how I do the same thing, thinking about past memories. And I'm like, Damn, when I think, when I just think about it and it comes up to my mind, it's like, damn, you know, it was. But then when I really, really think about it and see it clearly, I'm like, yo, that was messed up. Like, and so I feel like there may be an energy kind of like that coming through here where it's like, you're, maybe some of my Geminis are seeing the past for what it really was. You're seeing through the illusion, or sometimes we go into illusion our own selves to protect ourselves, right? And so um, I'm seeing a lot of communication between you and the cosmos, between you and the divine, however that kind of like manifests in your lifetime. Maybe some of you really, really getting signs and synchronicities right now. Maybe some of you connecting with your angels or your guides or deity or, or the divine, however you do that. Um, what I really feel like is that there's this dialogue going on between you and the universe right now, Gemini, and it's really bringing things into perspective and it's going to help you align to this 
new chapter okay definitely tap in with your intuition right now it's coming through very strongly i feel like your crown chakra is wide open at this time um and then bringing me back going back home to yourself so maybe even spending some time at home maybe um spending some hermit time to really hear what the divine is telling you right now may be something that if you feel called to do that would be very beneficial um big transformation this is a big shift family this is um you aligning to the next phase of your path so with that being said wow wow queen of swords with the fool on the bottom chariot on the split so this is definitely about the divine leading you into this brand new cycle this new journey and with that queen of swords it's like we're seeing things clearly we're emotionally disconnected from these things a little bit where we're, it's almost like we're not looking at things through the lens of our ego self we're looking at things from a bird's eye view from the lens of our spirit and um a lot of times when we do like i said look at things with those rose colored glasses it's because of our own insecurities or because of our fears and things of that nature and so i th i just feel like things are coming into perspective things are clicking for you here gemini so i'm going to pray real quick and we'll dive into this tarot message major healing happening right now I, I i feel like whatever is bubbling up from the past really wants to be worked through it wants to be healed it wants to be released um holy divine mother and father great spirit freeing yourself from it gemini holy spirit spirit guides guardian angels archangels ancestors messages for my gemini family for their highest good anything gemini needs to hear today anything they need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower my gems, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help my Geminis align with their highest timeline, their highest self, their their best self, the best version of themselves, their best life. And of course, above all, any messages that will help Gemini align with your will most high will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever queen of swords coming through heavy for you today gem so let's see what we have here in the tarot what's the message for gemini it has this this feeling of my gemini is really seeing clearly and choosing you and freeing yourself and putting things in order mentally here Yep, there's that past with the Five of Cups. The good old days, right? Yep, feeling a lot of emotion. Um, while looking at the past here, the things that went wrong for some of you, this was romantic relationships and, and things like that. But for others, it could be things with family, things from childhood. Maybe for some of you, even past life things. For some of you, I'm getting the energy of things with male figures in your life or um even a father figure or or even um there's a dynamic coming through where you could even be thinking about like past jobs or workplaces whatever it is though gemini this five of cups is that two mem those memory cards that came through in these other decks that's these three spilled cups here so it's definitely coming up and the divine is really and this is in your current energy but what i always say with this card is try not to get pulled into those empty cups because we can get stuck in there right and in this five of cups card there's two cups right behind the person that are full they're still upright and what this does represent is you know if we do get caught on looking at the past with rose colored glasses or being bummed out or being in a funk because of the things that didn't you know necessarily go our way or go as planned we can not only miss the moment but also the full cups in our life the love that we do have in our lives the support that we do have in our lives 
the blessings that we do have in our lives right here, right now, the roof over our head, you know, the food in our bellies and in the little things, they get overlooked and that can actually bring us into a funky vibration where we can almost, it's like there, there's a danger here of getting stuck in that. Right. And so I'm seeing an emotional healing that's happening for you right now. I'm seeing the divine definitely guiding you through. For some of you, there's almost this feeling of moving on and not telling anyone, almost this feeling of like being ashamed. Yeah, there's definitely this divine healing that is happening right now in regards to the past for my gemini's okay again you're very tapped in with your intuition at this time with the star and the um six of swords this feels like divine alignment to me and you got this path card which is what that's all about it's about also having the faith and trusting within you like this is all part of my journey i am moving toward what is meant for me i've learned so much through these um the spilling of these cups right set your intentions and believe gemini speak it claim it and affirm it that you are healed that you are aligned that you are on your divine path what is the challenge for gemini right now moving forward Yep. Yep. A lot of mental energies, a lot of being stuck in our head here. A lot of this energy of it being really hard to move on. Overthinking, overanalyzing, thinking about the good times, or like I said, looking at the past with rose colored glasses. Those three spilled cups in that five of cups are these cups here. And so, Gemini, being in your mind about looking at things like they were the good old days is keeping you stuck and bound to this energy to this old cycle remember gemini everything is temporary here in this reality um, and everything is for us everything is happening for us so i feel like the challenge right now six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck is that we're giving we're feeding that we're feeding that illusion and if you see in this card here, he's taking the mask off. He's taking off what's covering up and he can see the truth, right? This is a big part of your healing journey. This is definitely a very transformative energy. I do feel like you're being freed from maybe a karmic contract where there was a lot of betrayal or again, where it really just feels like things it didn't happen the right way and i feel like yeah wow ace of swords moon under that justice there this is about being able to see things clearly queen of swords that keeps wanting to be seen is saying gemini see things for what they really are see things for what they really are this is ace of cups ten of cups this here is an opportunity to move into real happiness I'm hearing you deserve so much better, Gemini. So this is, yeah, man, this is an ending. This is a part of your transformation journey. Wow, you guys. Whatever is being cleared from your life right now, Gemini, is divine intervention. It is absolutely a part of the divine plan. It is helping to shift you into your purpose and your most healed, connected to the divine version of yourself. This is also having to do with self-love. Let's see what's incoming for you, Gemini, and check out some advice.
Some of you are manifesting new love. Some of your prayers are going to be answered here. Something on a, a much higher vibration. I'm seeing incoming an opportunity coming in for you. And I feel like, again, this is something you've been praying about or, or manifesting. It's like your blessing is pouring in. Your hard work paying off. You moving to the next level. You really... I, I see my Geminis really committed to becoming the best versions of themselves. I see you really committed to this spiritual journey. Um, and I see you moving out of this energy of maybe feeling like you're not enough. Maybe feeling like you lack something or you're not good enough. I see you lightening your load here, moving behind the scenes and, and moving through this change. Yep. Wow. So I'm seeing my Gemini's making the decision to move towards something new. Some of you, I feel like you're in the in-between right there. It's like, it's like reaching for the past but also having this opportunity to move into real love or happiness. And it's like we are between that. Queen of Swords, I see a lot of you really seeing, looking at things as they truly are. Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, betting on yourself and walking away from the nightmare. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, walking away from the nightmare into your wish fulfillment, into something brand new. What is the advice for Jem? Self-love is your advice. Pouring into yourself. Pouring into your best life right now. Rest, rest, rest. Staying strong and making the decisions that you're truly being guided to. This is all about moving in a new direction, Gemini. I feel like somebody's coming in your life that is going to help you build your dream life. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You also had the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups wanting to be seen. Again, I feel like you're praying for this or manifesting this. This next person that's coming in is going to feel so familiar to you. And honestly, with the South Node and Libra North Node in Aries, you might be clearing some karmic energies and this soulmate energy might be coming into your energy. It's where you feel like you just know this person automatically. You're comfortable with them. Um, you're able to have these deep conversations. It's like, um, it's almost like this deep telepathic um, connection. Maybe you're already connecting with this person on astral. Knight of Cups. There's been a lot of love energies coming through uh, in the collective and y'all know I don't really do love readings. You guys, this has to do a lot of the readings and energies right now do have to do with relationships, not even necessarily just love, but relationships in general, which our reality is a reflection of us. So what that all boils down to, Gemini, is our own relationship with ourself. Your advice is four of swords to the moon. I feel like if you go into meditation mode, if you're resting, spending some you time, you will be getting intuitive hits. You'll be basically getting that vision. You'll be getting these downloads. I'm getting, I'm also getting something else for this moon. Yes. So you will be, by going into your own energy, by grounding down, by going into that, and that's exactly what I was feeling, you'll be seeing through the illusion. It's like things are clicking, but at the same time, you're getting these downloads about what's to come or you're getting the vision, or you are um, 
in some way communicating with the divine and and there's this back and forth happening where it's like yeah that's what i want yep i know what i deserve now i'm moving away from this betrayal from this toxicity i'm no longer overthinking over analyzing for some of you somebody else is maybe someone from the past is projecting their energy onto you and you feel it And so there's also a message about knowing what's the difference between your energy and someone else's. Five of swords, three of swords, that's the eight of swords, which is what came out here in the beginning of your reading. And so it's like you're no longer going to stay stuck in your mind about this heartbreak, about this um break up about this betrayal about whatever this is right you're you're setting yourself free you're seeing through the bs and you are fully pouring into yourself and your future here six of pentacles empress two of wands you're planting those seeds and you're moving in a new direction you're taking the opportunity to move into real love you're following that higher guidance you're following your intuition you're not giving up and you're really betting on yourself the divine is leading you toward your ten of cups ten of pentacles whatever that may be so this is a deep message gemini here um I feel like this is kind of almost like a pivotal point in your journey. And I kind of, I see you like, I have to do what's best for me and my loved ones or my children or whatever. I'm hearing I can't stay stuck in this energy. Yep, it's very hard to let go. This Four of Pentacles is about loosening our grip and knowing that we lack nothing, family. Anything that isn't serving us, anything that's dragging us down, keeping us bound, stuck, pulling us under, right? This is what we deserve. People that pour into us like we pour into them. And I see that's kind of like what you're manifesting here. So I think part of that is going to be getting your own vibration into that frequency. So that way you are a vibrational match to that. And it starts by self-love, fam. All right, so let's pull a couple Oracle cards. Expect powerful change. work through your fears new moon in scorpio show the world the real you it's time to release negativity be bold and make the first move the end of a tough tough cycle approaches balance spirituality and practicality and look at the bigger picture that's exact confirmation for what this message has been saying that big queen of swords energy it's time to release negativity look at the bigger picture the answers you need are coming four of swords so by going into your own world by maybe even through dreams getting actually getting enough sleep meditating right now going into that energy you will be gaining i'm hearing perfect clarity you'll be gaining clarity this is wow the phoenix rising from the ashes here family you will rise. I'm hearing still I rise. There's definitely some telepathic astral communication going on here. Take that how it resonates. Also, spirit is wanting you to realize how much wisdom you have gained through this, okay? And I'm hearing the stars are aligning for you, Gemini. Boven Shwadi. She's been coming through a lot. Yeah, you you proved your loyalty to someone, man, and they just they jacked that they jacked that up. Your loyalty can't be can't be questioned. Someone really took advantage of that. Maybe family, maybe romantic, maybe like I said, a job. So, Pete, I'm going to read this. Gemini, you've taken out the trash, family. You are taking out the trash. 
create space between your breaths and in between your thoughts. Life can get a little too crowded and Bhuvan Shwati is asking you to make space for your highest self to shine through. Notice your breath and its rhythms. Slow down each breath until you can feel the pause between inhales and exhales. Continue breathing deeply. Become, um, continue breathing deeply until it almost feels like you are not breathing. The spaces have become longer and the breaths faint. This is how you experience the advanced state of meditation. Samadhi. When there is more rajas than sattva, the mind becomes hyperactive and restless. Eight of swords, two of swords, ten of swords, nine of swords. You had all those swords coming through. You've been so caught up in the achievement phase that you may have lost sight in what you're even doing all of this. and Why you're even doing all of this in the greater purpose of life. Truth. What did you incarnate here for, Gemini? You are regularly overexerting yourself both mentally and physically without allowing the proper rest. You need to recharge. You may have recently been feeling easily agitated, anxious, jealous, materialistic, aggravated, or fearful emotions that are not aligned with your highest self. You've already done so much. It's time to recharge your batteries, care for your vessel, connect with nature, and reflect on the deeper purpose of life. You are a human being, not a human doing. Steer clear of the spicy foods and consume a more sattvic diet. Trade in your powerlifting or spinning for calming yoga. slowing it down coming back home to yourself that was the very first intuitive message that i got from you and with that trash truck rolling by taking that dumpster out right now gemini i feel like that's very relevant to your message you are taking out the trash you're dumping the old you're cleaning it up you're getting rid of it um and now instead of looking into the dumpster and seeing all of that all of that shit right it's nice and clean and clear I keep hearing that reverse, that beeping from the reverse. It's, it's past stuff. The Holy Spirit, expect miracles, hope. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. And then Kali Ma, J Ma, um, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. message for Jim. Holy Spirit, please. The Great Severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Let's grab a message from Ma before we tap out. Gemini, thank you all so much for being in this space. If you made it this far, hope you know I appreciate you. Um, Gemini, we got this. We got this. We got the goddess Isis coming through in your message as well. I feel like she's, I'm seeing light coming. So it's like she's lighting the path for you. That there's something about the moon here. Something about cycles, phases, something about darkness, something about subconscious stuff, shadow stuff. Um, this past situation may have been reflecting to you a part of your shadow side that really wants to be understood so that way you can integrate that wisdom and move toward this knight of cups two of cups emperor empress energy hierophant higher level commitments you can have what you need and desire, but you must be prepared to enter into the sacred fire to make the appropriate offering. Shift from focusing on what isn't working to handing over all of your concerns as a prayer offering to the divine. All can then be resolved and shall manifest according to loving and generous grace. 
it takes strength of spirit not to override your inner knowing with social pressures or an inhumane expectation for constant performance. Trust in the shifting cycles to give yourself what you need for well-being. No being benefits when you're at odds with yourself. You have the inner power and capacity to be at peace within your being now. And you are forging your authentic path. In support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings. To live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself. Remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing. Trust in what you were born to accomplish. This is that rebirth into your highest self, into your purpose. This is truly where you soar, Gemini family. So let's freaking go. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take our deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will and visualization to draw in this divine cosmic energy, this prana. Picture it as white or gold light filling up your vessel, filling up your aura. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top, and imagine ourselves glowing brighter and brighter, as bright as you can possibly imagine. And then as we release, we're going to exhale very forcefully, like we're filling up a balloon, watching any negativity, any doubt, any fear, any anxiety, any anger, any resentment, um, any blockages, any lower frequencies, regardless of what they are. We're going to watch all of that in the form of black or gray, smoke or static, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this light, into this truth, into this clarity, into this love and understanding, into this guidance. So first... We're going to take a deep, full breath out, completely empty your lungs, and then we'll get this breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze, more bundle, raise that energy up your spine. Now pull it down, lock it in your heart space or tip breath center. Watch yourself glowing as bright as you can. And release. Gemini, gang, gang, there you go. Stepping into your power. You are the magician. You're not taking any shit right now, and you are ready to go. So let's go, family. I hope this message has found you well and in great spirits. Um, I hope it helped in some capacity. Um, I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, week. Happy holidays to those of you that are celebrating. And I will catch you beautiful beings on the next reading.